In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the timeline and information sheet that we use for every wedding. It's like the cheat sheet to take us and the vendor team on the wedding party through the wedding day without missing a beat. This document is one page back and front printed on a legal sheet of paper. On the timeline side, we use a subway map to separate the day into three sections, pre-wedding, ceremony, and reception. There are two subway lines. The red line on the left is designated for the wedding party and the family, and the information on that side is just for them. On the blue subway line on the right side of each section, we list all the details for the wedding professionals. This way our clients can check and see when vendors are gonna do what, but they can also stay in their lane when they don't wanna be bothered with all the details. There's a small checkbox next to each item that our coordinators use to work through the day and make sure that everything is on schedule. In the pre-wedding section, we usually start the day with hair and makeup. On the professional side, you'll see a subway stop for hair and makeup vendors for when they are supposed to arrive and where they're supposed to go. On the client side, we list who is going to receive hair and makeup services as well as where and when they need to be for those. Then we work through getting ready, pictures, and the reception venue setup. The reception venue is typically the more extensive and time consuming setup. So we include all those details on the pre-wedding side. The middle section is for the ceremony. So it starts with when the ceremony venue opens for setup. Then we include floral and decor setup, musicians, an officiant arrival, and mic checks. On the client side, we include when the wedding party is going to begin to arrive and their duties. The processional maps out who walks when, song choices, timing, and we include anything unusual that might be taken place during the ceremony that would require vendor involvement. Then we finish with the recessional and the post ceremony pictures and transportation plans to the reception. On the wedding professional side, we may have some additional items related to rental and floral pickup. The final section starts with guest arrival at the reception venue. We map out when the bar opens and hors d'oeuvres are served, and we may put any details for the couple's arrival. Then we dig into some of the details here as far as what the couple wants to eat during their sweetheart meal and what type of bustle the bride's dress needs and really anything that needs to be accomplished in the short time between the guest arrival and the introduction of the couple. For our MC, we designate how to introduce the couple and how to announce the formal dances. And then we also have song choices for those. Then we have some very specific instructions for the cake cutting. From there, we are mostly working on the wedding professional side as the guests eat and dance and party. And we prepare for the special moments and for the special exit. We confirm arrival of exit vehicles, load necessary items. We detail how the exit should unfold and who's in charge of what. And finally, we have a stop for the grand exit and move into cleanup. Returning vendors are listed here. And then we also pick up client items and make our final stop at the drop-off location of the client's choosing. On the opposite side, we have the information sheet. These are the details that the wedding party and all the vendors are most likely to need. We use simple abbreviations and symbols to help condense all the information into this one page document. It's easier to keep a single page reference than trying to thumb through a multiple page document on a wedding day. In the first section, we list our couple, their wedding party, and important family members. We put a flower symbol next to every person who's going to need a bouquet or a boutonniere or any type of personal floral. We ask our couples to designate a couple of people as direct contacts and we get their phone numbers. We use those numbers to reach the couple on wedding day since most brides and grooms are not tending to their own phones. Next is a list of all the client items we need to keep track of. The list helps guarantee that all of those items are set up and that they're all picked up at the end of the night. Then we have a short list of the things that we bring. So remember to take all of those home with us. The middle section of the information sheet is our wedding professional section. Vendors are listed in alphabetical order based on their category rather than their company name. We include company name, contact person, contact phone number, their Instagram tag, and any important details there. At the bottom, the Uncommon Camellia team is listed. On the third and final section, we start with the rehearsal dinner info. We usually give this document to the wedding party at the rehearsal, so having some details on the dinner is helpful. Next are the important addresses. The couple's getting ready locations, ceremony, reception, after party, hotel blocks, and the drop-off location are all listed there. Below that is a map reference, which just gives a quick look at the proximity of all the wedding addresses. When the wedding includes a second line, we'll also include a route here. The final item on the sheet is generally the wedding pulls list, and that's a quick reference for the MC. Other 
important items might also be included, depending on the specific silhouette. The document folds into three like a brochure, making it easy to tuck into a pocket and pull out as needed. It packs a lot of information, and once you examine it thoroughly, it's an easy to use quick reference for the wedding day. Thank you so much for watching and happy wedding planning.